guys and welcome to my channel i'm natalie wall obviously um and today i'm very very excited because i'm going to be talking about my favorite favorite recent favorite character um courtney mitchell i'm going to be doing and i have just fell in love with courtney um courtney first was introduced in 1999 when she was born but she was played by different actresses then um the recent actress to play was alice noakes and i well, i'll talk more about alice at the end of it um because i want to send a message to her personal message to her just for her as well as my subscribers but megan josser came into it in 2006 as courtney and we only had Courtney then for three months when she obviously learnt what had happened to her mother um Ben let slip that I know how your mum died and he thought she thought you know her dad had killed her killed her and turns out obviously she got run over because we know that I remember the day I watched that and I remember looking at baby Courtney then thinking what is she going to be like when she's older that baby little did I know that this actress that's played her recently has become my idol so um, she came back into it in 2006 played by Megan Josser and just so to clarify Megan Josser is um, related to Jacqueline Josser who plays Lauren and the cousins not sisters so um, we get introduced to a toddler Courtney and she's a bit mouthy and she's trying to fit in and she learns how her mum died and because um, Grant caught her looking at some photographs of her and she doesn't believe that she got run over um, she thinks he, he killed her because <laughs> previously he pushed her down the stairs and I think that's how she died because she got run over because it affects you afterwards when you've had something wrong with you before um, so we only get her for, th for three months um, then we get introduced to her stepmom, Carla and she's a total nut job um, but being Courtney she tries and tells her dad and he don't believe her and then um, she gets found out and we hear no more of her in June when they take off to Portugal. We don't hear from Courtney for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, 10 years. And um, just recently, now we had no idea or I had no idea that Courtney was to make a return. They'd kept it hidden from the viewers until transmission that day and I had no idea that that day was the day where Alice Noakes would become my idol because she um we first you know we first had well we didn't have an inkling anyway did we um Sharon gets texts from Grant's Grant's phone and it's actually Courtney that's doing that that we work out after and we work out that it was Courtney that were answering her and not Grant so Courtney meets up with Sharon to say he's not coming and I'm Courtney and she instantly said yeah Courtney Mitchell and I oh the reaction on my face I was like what 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 Courtney whoa because I had no idea and I could not believe how beautiful this young actress who came into that calf or before we, we saw a scene of her before because I didn't know it were her then but 
that scene where she came into calf i could not believe how beautiful this girl this actress was i could not believe how beautiful and talented she was and i hope alice knox watches this because i really really wanted to see how much she she makes my life better i look at pictures of her when i feel down unwell upset every time i see a picture of her i go it really really cheers me up and that's why i've asked asked my mum at christmas to get me merchandise of her because there's things you can do you don't have to buy from her or anything because when i look at her she calms me down and makes me feel better and she's a talented actress and she is so appreciative of her fans she really is very 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 appreciated and i can't believe that every time i do an edit she gets back to me without fail there might be just one or two where she can't because she's not been on it that day but i'm not bothered it's the fact when she does get back to me she gets back to me and i got a dm from her as well and oh god I, you should have seen my face seriously it said hi natalie and then a little message to me and i remember the date of that it was the 22nd of november 2016 so it weren't so long ago and she followed me on the 9th of october 2016 so since then we've been communicating online as well on twitter and she is so so lovely and there's more edits to come by the way alice i've not finished with you with editing pictures of you um so and i've got a fan page on instagram so yeah um i cannot believe how alice Snokes makes me feel and i the first day i saw it i thought right sorry jacqueline josser you're out of the picture now love alice Snokes is taking your place seriously so that was easier than i thought <laughs> so um we just get about six weeks of her and then she leaves for portugal with grant again but before she goes also before she goes she meets a <laughs> meets a, a lad called mark unbeknownst to them at the time they have brother and sister and they fancy each other just thought i'd get that in because it's a kind of storyline that she only had for six weeks kind yeah exactly brother i thought it was bad enough okay so they fancy each other but they can't be together but courtney's yet to still find out so we want courtney back to find that out as well as having my idol back that I just want her back because she's my idol. I want to see her regularly, regularly on screen. With or without her dad. Really. I want her back. So, that's all I've got time for, for today. I think I've praised enough information to Alice there. I'll be tweeting the link of this anyway. So, she can watch it if she wants. Um, so until then I will see you all very very soon and my next my next profile next Friday is Jay Brown played by Jamie Borthwick okay until then have a good one back sorry guys bye <laughs>